All righty, let's get going. Looks like Amy's here. I don't know how many we'll have tonight, but we will see what we're going to do here. So, um, I've thought about working on the hair and the fur. I think I've decided just on the hair tonight because he's actually got quite a little bit of, of hairy places here. Um, and I think putting in the fur is going to be too much um, for one lesson. So, yeah. So, I think the only colors we're going to be working on today, hopefully, are these four. Do, do, do. Um, some russet brown, some clear red, some clear yellow, and some linen white. I think these are going to be the only ones we use. If we have to pull out something else, we'll see. Um, the, uh, what was I going to say? We're going to give him kind of a reddish hair. So he's not going to be like this red. We'll be mixing this in with in, in with this, obviously. Um, so he's not going to be like bright cyberpunk red. Um, yeah, so when we do the hair, we're going to cover, um, you know, this part up here, his chest hair, his underarm hair, and then he's got a little bit of hair on his forearms here that we're going to go ahead and, and do as well. And then I realized he's got, he's got so much fur because he's got fur here. He's got fur down on his his uh, ankle things and stuff like that. So so we're going to cover that because you do it slightly different. Oh, he's got cheekbones too, doesn't he? No, oh, he's got some some chops rather. So we'll need to do that. Um, yeah. So let's look at, let me get, make sure I'm organized. I'm just feeling so disorganized lately with always being at home and like, I don't know about you guys, but like, it's just weird to adapt to. Like, I'm, I even work from home a lot normally, but, like, always being home has been just very strange. <laughs> I don't know. It, uh, it's, it's very, very strange to me to, to just always be home. So, hopefully other folks are, are faring better. Um, okay. So, let's see what we're going to do here. Um, all right. So we're gonna take our guy here. Let's look at some examples of hair. Be right back. Left the mini over at the house. Well, we're in no rush here, so I will talk for a moment. I don't want you to miss the, the references and when we talk about hair here. So apparently you're painting somewhere not at your house. That's exciting. <laughs> Alrighty. So hopefully everybody's staying safe. The projections for this whole thing in the U.S. are just absolutely mind-blowingly bad. Like, whew, so bad. Hopefully it's uh, almost always home. I got your part <laughs> right. You're like, it's not weird for me, but it is weird having them. Have you discovered anything about your partner that's that's shocking? You're like, wow, I didn't know you were that guy on the conference call. Like. Is he the uh, the guy who never talks, or she, he or she, the guy who never talks, and then like at the end of the conference call, they're like, good job, everybody. It's like, wait, you were on this call? Are you sure? Like, what? Yeah, totally, totally can see some people discovering some, some interesting things about people. That's for sure. All righty. Um, let me go take a gander and see if we've got um at least some people here and then we will get moving here yeah all righty do, 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 do. i think we're probably good to start on this train I, got, I took it inside to show hubby well that's nice that's good all right well, let's get this show moving then all right so let's look at some references for hair. Let's talk about hair. Let's talk about what you don't want to do for hair, what you do want to do for hair. So let's pull up, um, he works in the office, which is where I paint. Oh, that's no good. All right. So we're going to pull up this reference for hair. Um, a lot of people, when they're painting hair on minis, they tend to dry brush hair because you think, you know what, let's, let's do this. They tend to dry brush hair because they think, okay, surely um, if if I've got all this texture, I can just dry brush it and it'll be fine, right? Well, the problem with that is you end up with very, very even looking hair where the hair basically 
is all of the same texture and all of the same um, value. All of the high ridges have, have that kind of spot. And if we look here on this picture of hair, we can see that hair is super varied. We've got, um, if you look down close to his forehead, uh, where his temples are, I wish I could figure out a way to make this show the mouse sometimes. Um, if you look at his temples kind of in that region, you can see it, it actually gets quite dark there in the hair. If you look in some of the inner recesses, it's quite dark. If you look at some of the high points where his curls are, I mean, it's, it's bright. It's pretty much white there. So we have hair that goes all the way from, from dark near black to, um, to, to basically white. So if we dry brush it all across, what we're going to end up with is one even surface across here that really doesn't well represent hair. So what we need to do is, is be a little bit more deliberate in our painting and try to bring in this super high contrast. So the thing is, normally when we paint minis, we paint high contrast to help um, show life because the mini itself is, is not in scale of real life. So um, we have to paint the highlights because the highlights aren't shown naturally where they would be. We have to paint the shadows because they're not shown because of the scale issue. Um, if we talk about hair, it already has this super duper duper high contrast, like one to one scale, which means if we want it to be accurately represented in um, mini scale, means we have really just got to kick it up. like. Yeah, it's just it's just got to be something something really good. So we need really high contrast for that. Um so that's what we're going to work on. Let's pull up another couple of pictures here real quick and then we'll uh let's see do I like that one better? Or do I like yeah, either one. Um let's do this one. Um yeah, so here we can see we've got kind of a reddish hair. Um you can see that we have again um right there in front we've got those really dark areas of hair um where it's near black or or black and then where the light is catching it you can see over kind of on the temples and on the tops where it goes very very close to white but only in very small areas so what we need is a fair amount of midtones some darks and then little pops of just really strong highlights because hair has that shine like we want it to to feel like it's hair and not just something that's more matte okay so we're we're going to need to sell some of that shine for this to work right and what that means is putting in um the highlights instead of just dry brushing across and being like well that looks fine all right so let's get some colors down um we're going to start off with russet brown I might put a little bit of our black out here. I don't I don't know, we'll see. I don't know if we're gonna end up going that dark or not. Hard to say right now. Put out some red here. I'm gonna put out red in a couple of different drops because we're gonna end up mixing um a lot of red like that. I'm gonna put out some yellow. I'm put it up here because I'm not real sure how much yellow and where exactly I'm gonna use. And then we're gonna put out some white up here. I'll put some down here because I know we're gonna need some pure white, but we're also gonna need some to start to mix into other things. Um, you know what, let's take a little bit. Let's just make some of our colors here. We're gonna need some of that. And then let's see what, let's see what we get here. Just mix in some of these. How close are we there? All right, that's probably pretty good. Okay, so that was about equal to equal. That's red. So we want a little bit more red. So let's take some of that. Let's mix some of our red in right there. And then let's mix a little bit of our yellow in. Let's see what we get here. So we're getting a pretty auburn color, which is nice. Let's get a little bit more of this in there and see how it goes. Yeah, that's not too bad. Okay, let's add some white down here, let's make this, let's add a little bit of yellow. We're just trying to get some colors here that represent kind of some shades that we, we probably wanna go through to get a nice red hair. 
you can do red hair a lot of different ways. Um, you know, hair is one of those things where there's really not any, um, it's hard to make it look like bad color combinations as long as you're just kind of moving up and down um, the colors and, and you're not adding too many weird colors and you can do blue hair and it still look like hair you can do um all sorts of different shades so i think we're going to kind of run with with this palette right now and then um we'll have to see how it works out so i i, I don't think i've ever painted red hair the same twice i don't know why um yeah we're gonna work with fairly thin paints here i'm just adding some water in okay um i'm using for this Actually, like using uh, the smaller of my two brushes that I tend to use, which is a um, Raphael 84040. Okay, but realize that's still a rather large brush by many standards. A Raphael 84040 is still a large brush. Like, if we put this up to his head, like, we're not talking about a single hairbrush here. Okay. So let's let's go ahead. We're just going to block in all of the areas with this brown. Don't feel like it has to cover super well if you leave some. Oh, I'm not on camera. If you leave some places dark that it doesn't cover, that's fine. But, you know, get it mostly there. Okay, um, we need to do his chops right here. His hair up there is mostly done. These chops are mostly done as well. Go ahead and just touch him up. Okay. We're just going through putting some paint on him. Okay. What we're going to end up doing is we're going to have um, the the highlight here is going to be mostly across his top ridge here of his hair on this. Oh no, I just got some paint somewhere. It totally doesn't go. There we go. Okay. Um, when you get to his shoulders here, or his forearms here, I recommend, because the texture on his forearms is not real strong, just use kind of, um, just use kind of uh, light strokes like this. And just kind of help sell a little bit of that texture, because it's pretty um, not, uh, it's real shallow on there. I gotta tell you guys, my brain has just been off. Like, I just don't feel 100% for sure. Alrighty, we're done there. I think we just got his armpits left here. I don't think this one's gonna take too long tonight. I really like keeping these workable. I don't want somebody to be doing this hours and hours on end. All right. Between lessons. I think that's all of his hair, right? All right. Yep. All right, now we're going to work up to this next one. And basically, we're going to do the same thing we did there, only we're going to not cover everything. And we want to use little strokes. Right now, we for this one we don't have to worry too much about exactly where the highlights are going um just cover most things and stay away from um covering your darkest recesses um and everything with it so see we added just a little bit in there okay we're going to do just little strokes here. You want to make sure that you don't have 
too much paint on your brush when you're doing these kind of strokes. If it's if it's too flooded, then what's going to happen is you're going to um, put put down really thick lines instead of really thin lines. So you need um, we're just doing little strokes like this. So you need um, paint that, that releases easily, but doesn't flood. There's not a super fantastic way for me to show that, unfortunately. Um, all I can say is that I usually load up the brush, and then I test it on my hand. Um, that's why oftentimes my hand is there. So you'll see me take some paint here, right? And then I'll wipe it off because I know that, that just doing that alone, there's going to be too much on there. Um, and then I'll test it on my hand, test it on my hand. That looks good. And then I come in and then I start using it. If I test it on my hand and it just all floods off immediately, then I know that that's not good. All right. This is the the place where we got to start up on the hair itself, where we've got to start being a little careful. Little short dagger strokes. Just the tip of your brush, guys. Try to follow with the hair a little bit. Don't get down in the very creases. Okay. Reaper cells. Hair triads, they're fantastic. I love them. Um, if you've never used the hair triads, they are really nice. I didn't have us pick up one for this class because I just didn't want you guys to have, feel like you had to buy all sorts of stuff, right? There's just only so much that I wanted you guys to buy. The blonde hair triad is fantastic. It's probably probably my favorite of the triads. I think it's the hardest to mimic um, without using the triad. I think it um, does a really good job. This might be a little pink for the next step. I don't think I want this color. Looking at this now, I think you know what? Let's take let's make more of an orange here. That we'll add just a little bit of this brown in here. Mute it just a little bit. We're going for kind of a burnt orange here. There we go. Need a little bit more of this. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So this is um, red, yellow, and a little bit of orange, making kind of a burnt orange here. And then, um, yeah, we're coming back in here. We're just going to do smaller strokes. Just along the center of it. This is one where you're not going to see a whole lot on this. But it'll start to add up. Okay. And we're going to come back in here. We're going to start focusing. Let's make more of, of just the middle. Um, you're probably going to need to use the side of your brush. Just be real careful. Okay. Start focusing more. Just the middle. The worst thing you can do here is end up with all of the hair having the same color. Like, don't do that. Okay. We're trying now to start catching more of just the tips. Let's see if I can. Just a second. I'm going to try to get a little more light on that. Does that help? little bit not a lot all right now I'll have to do that all right so just just catch the tips is anybody still there everybody's super quiet if you've got questions feel free to ask them so just a little bit remember make sure it's not all the same we're going to come back in here and reinforce a little bit of this 
Just make sure it's not all the same. Don't cover everything. I'm trying to make sure that there's contrast. All right, we're going to come back over here. We're going to do this. We're just staying in the middle section here. Okay. Okay. Alrighty, we're gonna come back up here. We're gonna use mostly the side of our brush and focus on just starting to catch more of the tips of hair, okay? I'm kinda going for an auburn red here. Okay. Remember though, make sure you don't get it all the same. Like don't cover everything. Whoop. Just drop my brush. Okay. Try not to go and rake across the hair. So if the hair is running, oh, my light in my way. If the hair is run, I swear this gets darker on me sometimes. I don't understand. Let me try turning the light up here. Yeah, we'll go with that. Um, if the hair is running this way, don't run your brush the opposite direction because you're going to end up with weird um, kind of lines that, that just don't look right. You're going to end up with more of that dry brushing effect and it just doesn't work well on hair. Um, we're just coming back in and reinforcing a little bit of these here. And then we're going to come back in and do his chops. Okay. Yep. That's where it happened before. Am I on camera? I am. Good. Okay. Alrighty, at this point now, we're going to go more to the yellow side of things. This is yellow with just a hint of red in there. Okay. Let's make it a little more yellow here. We might need to add a little touch of white in here. Yellow is super transparent, so it doesn't want to cover hardly on its own. But when you add a little bit of white in here, that was a little too much yellow. That was a little too much red. Let's see what happens when we add some white, though. Yeah, I'm okay-ish -ish with that. That's pretty orangey. Let's try it. Um, so yellow doesn't cover well on its own if it's just like a uh, a clear yellow. Okay. So if you add some white, it'll suddenly cover a lot better. All right, this is where you need to start covering really small areas focus just on some individual hairs just some tips just some some places don't do everything think about where the light is going to hit it's going to hit the tops of curls and stuff like that okay it's not going to hit um not going to hit everywhere the same. We saw that when we were doing our um, pictures, that there was a lot of variation in where it hit. So what we don't want to do is have these all look identical. Okay? We're just working our way up. This is just layering. This is nothing fancy. Um, I've been forgetting on the eyebrows. We're just going to step into them right now. They're so small that you don't want to try to do all of these layers. We're just going to pick it up right here. We we had one layer of brown on there. And we're just going to kind of dot them all. I don't recommend make the eyebrows super bright. It won't look good. Don't spend a ton of time on the eyebrows. Nobody ever is like, wow, that mini has some great eyebrows on it. That, that just doesn't happen. Okay, so we're doing this. We're just picking out a few here. 
remember we're focusing basically on the the, the curl part of the curves because that's where the light would have hit anywhere that it kind of curl and we're just doing real small small strokes at this point okay and we're going to do the same down here okay don't make everything the same we're just doing real small areas at this point okay just very tip of my brush sometimes i'm turning sometimes i'm turning this upside down so i get a little better control of where i want okay <laughs> okay. You can see we're starting to see these highlights now, right? It's starting to create a little bit of 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 interest here. All right, same thing over here. We've been doing the middle sections. We're just going to come through and we're going to Just gonna do some varying. This is really thin. This is maybe a little too thin for this at this point, but we're gonna work with it. Okay, we're just creating creating this uh, texture here. Okay. The I don't know if the eyebrows are magnificent enough. You got a thing for eyebrows? <laughs> I uh, think last time we decided he might need a unibrow, right? And we're coming back in here. We're just picking out the tips here. We're just doing a little bit on each one. You see, this isn't taking a long time. I think we're what? what how long are we in? I don't have a timer going for some reason. Well, 30 minutes, less than 30 minutes of talking. You know? And to be honest, we're getting close to being done. So. This does take more time than dry brushing, but it also will look approximately a million times better. Okay? I'm going to switch back and see if darker. I just can't make up my mind if this looks better or if this looks better. Wonder can I can I mess with anything here? Uh, that, a little bit of that maybe. Yeah, I guess so. Um. Okay. So you can see we're we're starting we're we're getting there pretty quick. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our white, we're gonna mix that in, and we're gonna make almost our final highlight just by mixing that in and making a much much lighter color here okay so all we did oh, i had him in the way all we did was add some white to our other one pretty good amount of white there not quite it's not quite right this is um the yellow with a touch of red and linen and linen white at this point and then this is straight linen white so we're about to do this and then this and then we'll be done and at this point now, we're really just talking about real small touches, okay? Like, it should be, again, don't do all of them. Just the ones, it's a little curve, okay? This, so this is a wet palette. Um, this this is the AK paper that comes with it, but it's just parchment paper is all it is. Um, but, all right, if you haven't seen a wet palette before, because this is not the first time this has come up, a wet palette is parchment paper, and then there's basically a sponge underneath it. This one has two sponges because it's fancy. Um, there's sponge and then there's water down here. So what this does is as the paints, as the paints sit on this, they, they stay wet. Okay. Um, they stay wetter longer so that they don't dry out um, nearly as fast. Um, otherwise, um, if you're using 
uh, just, you know, ceramic palette or something like that, they tend to dry out super fast. Um, and this will keep your paints usable for a lot longer. Okay, so all we're doing is we're just doing little touches of this. The little touches over here. Okay. Same thing over here, just little touch over here. This one over here is heavily in shadow and not very important at all. So if you if you're screwing that one up, that's totally fine. Do not worry about it. This one over here, remember just little touches. Where you've been making the other highlights. Alright? You're just trying to make sure that it looks like the light is catching off of this. We're going to do just a little bit on his glorious chops here. Okay. If you don't go bright on hair, it doesn't look like hair as much. Okay. So remember, we need to do bright. All right. I'm not doing the tips here. I'm doing more of the curve and up here I'm really just doing dots on the pieces that we've already highlighted okay if you get it somewhere that doesn't look right you can always go back with your previous color I recommend lazing it so like here that doesn't look right because I don't think I I don't think I did anything with this color so I'm gonna take the previous color and just cover it just a little bit. Now it'll look a lot better. There we go. Okay. So all we're doing is we're adding in little dots. So that he has some panting. Remember if you do too much. Just go back over. Okay. All right, so a couple of places it looks like here. Okay. All right, but overall it's looking like hair. Okay, he's got that messy look going on. Okay. Remember, if you feel like there's something that just isn't right, you can always touch it up. All right. Now we're going to use our pure linen white, and we're literally just going to do the top of the hair. We we don't want the focus to be on the rest of the hair. We're just going to do the top of the hair up here, and we're just going to touch a few key places around. You don't want it all to look the same. Sorry, I'm, there was some water on there. It was driving me nuts. All right, he doesn't have really great hair to begin with. So if at the end of the day you're like, I'm really not digging this hair, part of it is this particular sculpt is not got the best hair. It's kind of all over the place. Um, right now I'm going through, I'm just touching up a little bit. I made some places light that I don't want light. Coming back, I'm just cleaning up just a little bit here. If you really want to make this look good, what you'll do is you'll kind of do everything we did, like I just did, where we did it. Now I'm going to, now I'm just kind of lazing over it with that. Then I'm going to work back up just real quickly and just touch a few of my spots back. Because it's just going to add some depth. So I just took a mid-tone. And I glazed a mid-tone over the hair. And then I'm just adding some highlights back. Because it's just going to add more depth. You can see it's literally taking a minute or so. It's just going to smooth things out. Yeah, I'd use the same technique for, for every hair. Um, yeah. So 
to these places. If you if you find out that you missed something, just go back over. If you get outside the lines, it's just paint. All right, well that's pretty much it for that. Don't dry brush. Work your way up, and then um, make sure that you've got those really good contrasts. It's almost like non-metallic metal. You need high contrast. Um, like I said, if this guy looks a little strange, it's because he is a little strange on his hair. All right. All right, guys. That's going to be it. Do you have any questions, comments? I will post pictures of this guy in a little bit. And, um, yeah, you'll get a better sense of the hair. The hair just doesn't show up well on camera, in my opinion. So, um, but all we're doing is, is just um, looking at, at reference pictures. Um, you know, like, I think I like this one. Uh, where I think I like this one best. Where you can see that the light is catching on his curls. On the on the upward part of his curls is where it really catches. And we've got those really dark parts. We've got those really light parts. And that's what we're trying to mimic here. Um, it's easier on some sculpts than others. <sighs> yeah. So, alright guys. Questions, comments? We went for kind of that auburn red because we're going to have a um, we're going to have a lot of leathery red so I didn't want to do something too close to what we're going to do there so alrighty guys this will require the visor you think so maybe so alrighty folks have a good night this is a this is a 40 minute one this is a good one though for, for that. If I tried to do fur two, it would turn into a two hour one and I don't want to do a two hour one. So alrighty guys, have a good night. Stay safe. Stay inside. Don't be dumb. All right, guys.